Hey guys, it's Jerry with Theatrically Jerry, my new YouTube channel. Um, today we are going to go over a generic ArtNet controller. This controller um, is capable of doing four universes through uh, three pin DMX. So we're going to go over this guy because um, I know a lot of you are wondering if it's worth it because of the price point and also because it's not a uh, name brand product. So we're going to go over that. But first, we're going to go over what this controller comes with. So this is a professional controller. It's an ArtNet CR041R. Um, like I said, it's a no-name uh, overseas unit, but that doesn't mean it's bad. That's why we're reviewing stuff. So we're going to review this. Um, it obviously comes with this main unit. It comes with this PowerCon connector, which makes it feel professional. Love PowerCon connectors because they're so easy to install and they're so easy to remove. So um, I love that they included that feature and also that they included the PowerCon cable because um, you know, free accessories are great. Love those. Um, they did also include a Cat 5e cable. Not really sure the. Okay, it's 1.5 meters, so they give you free uh, 1.5 meters, which is great. But that's not going to work for me because my console is very far away and I run a much longer cat cable than this, but it's great for what we're gonna do, which is test this out and see how it works. So, love that they included that, cool. And of course, the handy dandy user manual that I tell everyone they need to read, and for a reason, because if you read the user manual, you can usually figure out what you're doing wrong, which is frequent in this industry, um, especially if you don't know what you're doing. But reading is learning, learning is great. We love learning, at least I do. Anyways, here's our, our user manual. It's a uh, version 1.0, so it's the first version of the user manual. That's fun. What does this thing got in it? Configuration methods are DMX Workshop. I'm sure you can use other methods. I do know it has an onboard configuration with a built-in LCD screen, so you can also configure it on board, which is why I bought it, because I do not want to use software. Anyways, it tells you your default IP address, your ArtNet broadcast address, which is good for your board, obviously, and also your subnet mask. Um, you can change all this, of course, but we'll go into that later. We have a MAC address. Uh, the ArtNet protocols that this supports, there's actually three of them. That's ArtNet 1, ArtNet 2, and ArtNet 3. So it is supporting three generations of ArtNet, which is great. Um, we have our DMX512 port addresses, which is net zero, subnet zero, universe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. Um, the NIC speed is 100 megabytes per second, which is all you need for what we're doing because DMX512 uh, doesn't have a whole lot of data going through it. I guess what I'm trying to say. So, 100 megabytes per second, plenty. Uh, it has four universes, which I already discussed, and that's exactly what I wanted because my control console um, handles four universes through ArtNet. That's why I bought this. Um, let's see, yeah, DMX512 channels. There's 512 channels times four. Just in case you didn't know what a universe was, it's 512 DMX channels contained into each universe. Um, it apparently also does LED RGB pixels, 
at 4 times 170. That's good to know. Um, another thing I loved about this is yes, you can control it or power it, I should say, with the PowerCon connector, but you can also control it um, with PoE or PoE, however you want to say it, but it's power over Ethernet. And so you can actually control this with your Ethernet cable. It'll power this. Um, it's just a lot less cabling and it's neater. So I love that they included that. That's um, up to DC 48 volts. And uh, just look through some more stuff here. I'm not seeing anything that's relevant to this particular review because this is just me unboxing this. I am, There will be another video I'm posting after this video that's going to go more in depth on the main control unit. Um, as far as build quality, what it does, that's going to be another review. This is just me unboxing this. Uh, some people love to see unboxing videos and I'm one of them. So, Anyways, uh, it's telling you your LED matrix screen driver. So this is capable of driving certain LED screens, I would assume. We're not going to get into that. That's a whole nother ballpark. But it does show you your equipment connection block diagram. So LED decoder 1, 2, 3, and 4. And each decoder goes to each strip. So LED strip 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's uh, pretty, pretty much straightforward there. But yeah, anyways, handy dandy uh, user manual. Here is a diagram showing this coming from the console to your network hub to the CR041R, which is my four universe generic ArtNet converter. Um, you don't have to have a network hub. You could just go from straight from your console to here, but um, I'm assuming they have a network hub because they want to do power over Ethernet, which a lot of boards don't do, but some do. You just have to look in your user manual to see if your console does power over Ethernet. But anyways, here's a network hub to this four universe ArtNet converter. Um, it's showing eight universes, but it only does four, so I'm not really sure why it's showing that. Maybe we'll find out later. It's showing eight universes coming out of this particular unit, but this unit only has four DMX ports and only does four universes or so I thought but we'll figure out more of that in our next review that's going to be coming up so stay tuned to at theatrically Jerry on YouTube and we're gonna go into video two soon which is going to explore the build quality of this um, unit as well as all the functions it does and of course, we're going to see if this actually works or not, and if it's worth the uh, very small amount of money they're charging for this, which is actually a really good deal if this works. So stay tuned for that video, and I'll see you guys then.